Hello, in this video I will tell you some interesting facts about Albert Einstein's brain, innovations, and his life. Researchers have studied Albert Einstein's brain in an attempt to understand the neural basis of his exceptional intelligence and creativity. In 1955, after Einstein's death, pathologist Thomas Harvey removed and preserved Einstein's brain. Since then, a number of studies have been conducted on the brain, using various imaging techniques and methods of analysis. One study that gained widespread attention was conducted by Dr. Marion Diamond and her colleagues in 1985. They found that Einstein's brain had an unusually high number of neurons in the prefrontal cortex, which is involved in higher cognitive functions such as planning, decision-making, and problem-solving. They also found that the brain had an unusually high number of glial cells, which support and nourish neurons. Another study, led by Dr. Dean Falk, used imaging techniques to analyze the brain structure in more detail. This study revealed that Einstein's parietal lobes, which are involved in spatial perception and mathematical thought, were larger and more folded than the average brain. This may have contributed to Einstein's exceptional ability to visualize complex mathematical concepts. A more recent study, published in 2012, used MRI imaging to study the brain of Einstein's relatives and found that they shared structural similarities with Einstein's brain, including a larger-than-average inferior parietal lobule, IPL, and more folded brain surface in the same area. Research on Einstein's brain has provided some insights into the neural basis of his exceptional intelligence and creativity, but it is important to note that these studies are only part of a larger and more complex picture, and it is not possible to conclude that his brain structure was the sole cause of his genius. Albert Einstein made many significant contributions to the field of physics during his lifetime. Some of his most notable innovations include The theory of special relativity Einstein proposed that the laws of physics are the same for all observers moving at a constant velocity relative to each other. This theory fundamentally changed our understanding of space and time, and it introduced the concept of space-time. The theory of general relativity Einstein proposed that gravity is not a force between masses, but rather a curvature of space-time caused by the presence of mass or energy. This theory explained many previously unexplained phenomena, such as the precession of planetary orbits and the bending of light around massive objects. The equivalence of mass and energy, Einstein proposed that mass and energy are equivalent, and can be converted from one to the other. This idea is encapsulated in the famous equation E equals mc squared, which has important implications for understanding the behavior of matter and energy at high speeds and in extreme environments. The photoelectric effect, Einstein explained the phenomenon of the photoelectric effect, where electrons are emitted from a metal surface when it is exposed to light, by proposing that light is made up of discrete packets of energy, now known as photons. This research laid the foundation for the development of quantum mechanics. The Bose-Einstein statistics, Einstein worked on the statistics of identical particles, now known as Bose-Einstein statistics. This work laid the foundation for the field of quantum statistics and led to the discovery of phenomena such as Bose-Einstein condensation, a state of matter where all particles in a system collapse into the same quantum state. Einstein's work had a profound impact on the field of physics, and his theories continue to be studied and applied in many areas of research. Additionally, his contributions to the field of physics have paved the way for many technological advancements, from the development of atomic energy to the GPS technology in our smartphones. Einstein Life Einstein was born in Ulm, in the Kingdom of Württemberg in the German Empire, on March 14, 1879. He was the first child of Hermann Einstein, a salesman and engineer, and Pauline Einstein. At the age of five, Einstein began to show an unusual curiosity about nature and began to ask many questions about the world around him. In 1894, Einstein's family moved to Milan, but he stayed in Munich to finish his studies at the Leupold Gymnasium. He then joined his family in Italy, but soon moved to Switzerland to attend the Polytechnic School in Zurich. He graduated in 1900 and found a job as a patent clerk in Bern, Switzerland. He worked at the patent office for seven years, during which time he continued to study physics and mathematics in his spare time. During World War I, Einstein was a pacifist and publicly spoke out against the war. After the war, he became an advocate for international cooperation and world government. In the 1920s and 1930s, Einstein traveled to the United States and other countries, giving speeches and lectures on his theories and his political views. Einstein's work had a major impact on the development of atomic energy, and he was a vocal critic of the use of atomic weapons. After World War II, Einstein became a leading figure in the campaign for nuclear disarmament. He also continued to work on his theories of physics and made important contributions to the development of the theory of quantum mechanics. 
Einstein died on April 18, 1955, in Princeton, New Jersey. At the time of his death, Einstein was considered one of the most famous scientists in the world and his theories had a profound impact on the field of physics. If this video is informative to you do like and subscribe for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.